Well, in the words of Craig Revel Horwood, that was fabulous. It was incredible. It built, the show built from the very beginning and that tango at the end, everybody had been waiting for that and they didn't disappoint. It was the best I'd ever seen them. It was just phenomenal. I would give that tens. We ten, give that tens. Ten. ten. The first ten of the season. It was so It's fast. phenomenal, isn't it? Absolutely. I want to see it again, actually, straight away. I would watch that again. I think it was exceptional. Really beautiful. I absolutely loved this show, um, mainly because of the fact they added more styles of dancing. There was singing, acting. There was a there was a plot all the way through that everybody could relate to. Sorry, interrupting you. Um, you don't notice actually that they don't speak in a funny sort of way. It's quite interesting. You know, there is dialogue and there's a story, but it's I don't know. Their dancing's we. It's a bit magical actually. It's kind of the story's kind of punctuated with this. Inc- these incredible dance numbers all the way through. You were in, in the but moment then, and I totally all the time. No, 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 no. But having known Vincent Flavia since I was probably about 15, I'm so proud of the both of them. They've worked so hard to make this happen, and everybody should go and see this show. If there's one ticket you buy in town, go and see Dance Till Dawn. Now, nah, because you will, you will dance till dawn. Oh. There you go. Oh, yeah. you nailed it. I can't even think of anything to end it with. I'm good with the VT. What he said. <laughs> Yeah, and the thumbs up. I think immaculate is the, the only word I can come up with. It's just immaculate. It is so wonderful from start to finish. Yeah, it's the sort of show that makes you feel totally inadequate as a dancer. Oh, yeah. oh, I can yeah. tell you that. Oh, yeah. yeah. And, but, but also, the, 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 the comedy in the strip was brilliant. The whole thing hangs together. The chorus were fa- The fellas, I've never seen stronger, more masculine, more wonderful earthy fellas and that group they were and the girls were brilliant and, you know but wonderful. didn't you love the suits the suits dancing Absolutely. the suits yeah. in the grey trilbies kind of armies of them all perfectly coordinated oh, it was a, so, it was a really so good wonderful. sight you know what i mean i was expecting a similar thing to what their last show was which was just all purely dance and i mean it was a fantastic piece of musical theater you know, I thought the elements of bringing the, you know, the singers in along with the actors and, you know, the whole kind of, um, you know, breaking the fourth wall, you know, all that kind of thing. I thought it was absolutely fantastic. But apart from that, I mean, yes, you know, they are fantastic, you know, both of them, you know, I mean, phenomenal. And that, you know, at the end, that tango, um, you know, Argentine tango is absolutely fantastic. But the whole cast was incredible as, you know, a complete show. I don't think... I don't think there'd be many shows in the West End to match up to a show like what I've just seen. You know, original choreography, you know, fantastic cast. You know, there's so many, what's happened is there's so many shows which have become popular musicals, which have been on the back of, you know, um, like, you know, Mamma Mia. Yeah, it's fine for what it is. And you go and see it and everyone knows the songs and gets up and dances. Yeah, it's fantastic for that. But if you want to go and see a bit of original theatre where, you, you know, it takes your breath away, and something that is going to make you feel good and see the amazing talent that we do have in this country. All right, I know he's Italian, darling, but, you know, but um, that's, you know, that's that's a given. He is one of us. I mean, you're not going to, you're not going to get much better than that for the price of the West End tickets. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, I am blown away. And it's not very often, darling, I'm blown away. Absolutely loved it. It's amazing. Yeah. Amazing tango, wow, it's like... Yeah, yeah, I know, that's full on, you know, so intricate and with a number like that you can really see the class and the, the, the quality that they have between them as a, as a dance couple and it's such a highlight to the whole show. It was really nice to see a sort of ballroom dance show with the story, so that was really yeah. nice to see, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know, yeah, I wasn't, you know, obviously we, we didn't really have any expectations coming into it but to see sort of a West End musical mixed with Borum and mixed with Flavia, Vincent Flavia's style I think everything just came together and really blended well and it just was a fantastic show yeah, yeah I was the whole time like in the bath it was full on we loved it they were absolutely fantastic I actually I mean I love Strictly Come Dancing and I love them on that show but this was something else. I, I haven't just seen the range of the different moves, dancing, the drama. The chemistry between them was just sensational. I have to say, I was blown away. It was so amazing. And I love them both dearly. 
and I just thought it was just such a great show. I, I have to say, it was very funny, and I loved the beginning bit, it was so good. But it's got humour in it, it's got everything, it's a wonderful show. Yeah, it was a great night, it was great. It was, it's hard work, but you love it. It's that sadistic dance of nature, that we love it because the choreography is great, make, still makes me laugh, it's, it still has these emotional moments, and we sweat a lot. It is, A, because they're phenomenal at what they do. Uh, when you see them dance together, it, it's ridiculous. They, they just know each other so well. They can do everything, and that's it. And we're in, all in awe of that. But most importantly, they're pros. They're lovely, lovely people. They're on time, they're always good, full out there, and they always bring it. There's never, they don't complain, they don't, they just get on. And, and, and it means that we look up to them. Um, and all, for all their fame and everything, they're just down to earth, hard workers. Well, I'm quite biased, obviously. But I think it's got all the elements a show should have. Um, it's really funny. It's got some amazing voices. It's the dancing, the choreography is ridiculously good. The dance, <laughs> say the, the, hopefully it's ridiculously good. Um, but it's just a good night. It's just, it's got a story that you leave, you, like you, you go through with the guys and it's just a good bit of entertainment. You just go and you sit down and you have a lovely ride and then you get off and it's like, boom. I thought it was absolutely incredible. I thought the, the tango that they did at the end was just gobsmackingly good. The, how quick they move their feet and the timing of it is incredible and I think since I have had the chance to do Strictly I realise even more how difficult that timing is so Vincent and Flavia are unbelievable but the whole cast was unbelievable because the timing of that many people on the stage and the different things that they do it was a real mix of dance and theatre and it was just it was just the most phenomenal show. I absolutely loved it. I wasn't sure what to expect because I didn't know that there was a theme to it. I thought it was going to be more of a dance show, but it's it's very much more watchable, I think, when you have the private investigator who is l the narrator of it and the lady who was Lana, she was great. And it was very, very funny. I mean, the throwing I'm throwing the book at you and the book comes out of the wings and all the, you know, I'm picturing you with sunglasses on and then the sunglasses come out of the all of that stuff, it's just like the humour in it and it splits it up from the from the dancing and it makes it just so much more of an entertainment show rather than just a dance show and I think it was just so clever. Well, I think we're doing the Paso Doble. Um, I think the Argentinian tango might be a bit beyond me. We did do a tango a few weeks ago but um, I can really appreciate how incredibly physical and creative the pro dancers are and uh, what we saw tonight was quite, for me was quite spectacular. Vincent and Flavia are standing right behind me. I thought they were actually uh, outstanding. The last number, that build, that, the intensity of it, just absolute quality and uh, to see them on a, on, a, on a stage along with actors, along with other dancers, um, I thought the whole production was great. I, I, I enjoyed the, the silly humour. I enjoy the, the quality dancing and uh, yeah, a great night. See now, I, I didn't see um, Midnight Tango, which I was disappointed with myself in because there were, there were opportunities to go and see it. Um, when it starts with a bit of comedy, I was like, oh great, we can sit and we relax and, and the shoulders come down and especially when you're supporting your mates because you feel, you feel they're, uh, I'm, I'm sure they were nervous. They won't tell us they were nervous, but I'm sure they were. So um, it's just, it was great to be relaxed from the start and, and see a good show. honest um, but I just think it's such a high being in the show so wonderful and the energy that Vincent and Flavia create is so amazing um, that, that carries us through the show every night but to do it in front of so many people who are on our side and oh it was magic pretty magic um, when I auditioned I, I didn't really know what it would be and they gave me a script and just said, can you just have a little look and have a read? And I was just creasing up. I immediately just understood it. So I went back in and we worked on it. And we, there was just this kind of feeling in the room that this was going to be really fun. And uh, yeah, it's been, it's been a laugh a minute ever since. Well, I don't think there are many dance-based shows. 
and um, this kind of is a cross genre which is really nice to see because there's so much talent in the dance world that has a very specific audience and with things like Strictly Come Dancing coming along it's widening so now if we can bring that into the musicals and vice versa it's really exciting actually so I don't know we've got the energy we've got the old Hollywood and we've got a lot of talent on the stage as well. I loved it. It's great. But to be honest, we it's one of the happiest shows I've ever been in. You know, you come off stage, laugh. We, we all gather around to watch Vinny and Flav do that last tango. We're all in the wings, all cheering, all clapping. It genuinely is a happy show. I know I've, often people say that and actually they're going home on the tube going, oh, oh. But it's, it's great fun. It really is great fun. And it's lovely for me to, you know, stand on top of a cage and sing music all night, so it's, yeah, it's lovely. I thought it was a great idea. I mean, Karen approached me to do the Royal Albert Hall, to do the, you know, the, the, sorry, the Royal Variety performance. Uh, and she said then that we're actually turning this into a proper story and it's going to have a lot more comedy than we've done before and every single dance type, you know, we can, we can put in there. Uh, and would you come along and sing the songs for it? So I was like, I, I would love to. <laughs> apart from, apart from me, uh, I think, I think that sense of fun, especially over Christmas, I think it's going to be absolutely ideal you know, for families to come and see. The, the, the strange thing is, like you said, it's, it's the mixture of music, humour and dance. And I can't think of another show that's got that in spades like, like this has. You know, it's, it's happy, it's funny and the dancing is amazing. The whole cast are incredible. I stand up there, stop still, watching them all do their, their stuff. It's incredible, incredible. Turn up and do it, and hope it all. And it was, and there we are. <laughs> it's very nice. It's very nice. Everyone was very receptive and laughy and willing, and that makes everything so much easier. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, well, uh, very kindly they just asked me. I didn't have to read for it, so that's cheating, really. I, you know, I must have paid somebody. I can't think. Of, I can't think how else it would have worked. Yes, I didn't sleep with anyone. I know that. But I. But. but I, they very kindly asked me, and, and I'm very, very, very glad they did. They have Vinny and Flav, who are truly remarkable. I've done two shows with them now, with Midnight Tango and this one, and um, they are so spectacularly good. I, 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 I've been, how long have we been doing this? Months now, on and off, and I watch every night, really. Uh, partly because if I don't, I'm off, and that would be bad. But mainly, because seriously, they're riveting. They're beautiful and elegant. And the discipline and the commitment required to get to that standard is something that most people would never, luckily for them, <laughs> have to go near. But they're, they're wonderful. And that's what none of the other shows have. They're Vincent and Flavia, who are just brilliant. Oh, don't tell anybody. I don't know. How, Flavia, how well, do you do it? We're just um, so happy to have the opportunity to be performing on stage. There. It's really hard work, we do eight shows a week, but we wouldn't want it any other way. We love doing what we do, so we're very grateful. It's amazing the fact that we've got a story. It's not just the dance, I mean, we love dancing, obviously. We, it's our job, um, but we still love it. But then we've got the acting, we've got people singing, it's brilliant. Yeah, definitely. I think we wanted Dance Till Dawn to be very different to Midnight Tango. And we kind of started to step a little bit more into theatre land with Midnight Tango and we kind of thought with our director let's push the boundaries a bit further let's add Borum and Latin which is what we've done for 20 years um, let's have a bit more of a complicated storyline and that sort of took us into what we have now Oh it's brilliant the support because um, we're all friends you know we've got I've got friends from Strictly friends from the jungle it's amazing yeah it's, it's amazing it's um you feel safe in a way because if your friend comes, you know, you feel, it just feels safe. It was a lovely really. atmosphere because there's so many, also of our cast, family, mums, dads, so, you know, the support, friends from Strictly who, you know, have, um, they're busy themselves and have, you know, come tonight. So it means a lot to have their support. Incredible. It's amazing. We're, we're just relieved and happy and uh, we just, at the end of the day, want people to come and enjoy what we do, what we work so hard We accomplished what we wanted to do. So, um, We've got an amazing show, people love it, uh, they're over the moon, I mean every single one of them, and we'll, we're over the moon because we, that's what we do, that's what we were born to do. 
So I think that's at it. the end of the day, the reason we can do what we do is because people come to watch. And if people don't come to watch and enjoy it, then we wouldn't be able to do it. So my mum always comes anyway. <laughs>